<laughs> Good evening, everybody. Welcome to your dance and fitness workout session this evening. My name is Carly Tan, and I will be taking your class. In today's session, you need to make sure that you have plenty of space so you can move freely around you. Um, it will be a high impact dance class. Um, we will also need a water bottle. Please, if you have any family members that would like to join in, come on in. It's going to be a really fun time. Um, and I hope that you enjoy today's session. If at any point anything starts to hurt, please stop. Please just do um, what's working for you in your body at any given moment. If you need to take a drink break, please. Um, and I hope you enjoy it. Alrighty guys, so this evening we're going to be starting with a warm up. Starting with our feet together, we're going to begin by pedaling through the toes with a nice light warm up. Make sure you're pedaling through the ball of the foot all the way down to the heel, warming up the feet and the ankles. Alright, picking up the pace. Start by lifting those heels up, kicking the glutes. Arms go up and down. The arms lift up and down. Nice and strong in a high and low V. As strong as we can. Well done. That's it. Good. The heart rate should be starting to come up now as we move into our star jumps. Give me as much energy as you've got. That's it. We reach out to the side, moving on. We pull out and in. So we're step tapping, step tapping, step tapping, step tapping. Pulling out and in, out and in, out and in with the arms. Nice and strong. Using all your energy, we're moving up and cross and up and down, up and down. So still that same step tap. That's it. Arms pulling down. From here, we go for a side reach for the warm up. We bend and extend. Bend and extend. Good. We want that arm, same arm as leg, reaching over, looking down towards the floor. Getting a nice side stretch through the sides of the waist. We transition now into the same arm as leg, thinking of it as an L shaped extension. The heels come together and we pick up the pace. Four, four, five, six. Seven, eight, good. Keep that pace moving. It's like a step tap, but our heels come together and we extend through the upper body, giving a little flare. Nice work. Well done. Good. Really keep going. Push all the way down, moving into that plie. We're in a slightly turned out position. Arms are strong and elongated. Shoulder blades are down and back. We lift one heel, keeping that pulse going. We're gonna add the arm in just a moment. From here, the arm reaches up as we extend down. It comes up as our leg extends and lowers as our knee takes a nice deep bend. We lift and lower and lift and lower, keeping that rib cage closed, switching sides. Down and lift. So that heel maintains a nice lift. Our head is pulling up nice and tall, Spine, spinal column is long. Good, sinking nice and deep for two and for one. Good, from here we've got a side. After we pulse, we're gonna move into some ab work. So we're dipping out to one side, squeezing our obliques to lift up to that center. So it's just using the sides of the waist with some momentum to pull up. Other side for four, four, three. Keep those elbows nice and wide. Roll the shoulder blades down and back. Drawing those legs back in now. Well done. Pedal those feet out. You should feeling nice and warm. We're going to move straight on into a dance combo moving on next. So the rib cage needs to maintain closed for our lat number. We make sure that our rib cage is closed, our spinal column is long, and your core is engaged throughout the entire workout. We're going to move now from side to side. So our weight transfers side to center, side to center. That's it. We're gonna add the hip in now. So now the hip draws a little semicircle out to the back, center, out to the back, center. Good. We add the arms and pick up the pace. Good. Add those arms, keep those hips moving, feet moving, weights nice and light. Having fun. Core is tight. Good. Well done. Good. Keep going. Out and in and out and in. 
forward and we go back. So we're changing back. Good, so we alternate legs. Forward leg, hits the center. Opposite leg, hits the center. Good, forward, hits the center. Back, hits the center. We start by rotating that pelvis out and around. Good, so it's nice and simple Latin. Nothing too fancy. Just keep those legs moving out and in, out and in. Add the arms, drawing nice little circles. Switching sides, back, forward. We go forward, center, back, center. Good, we start to pick up the pace now. Back and center, forward and center, back and center. Good, those arms are moving. Those feet are staying nice and light, moving. Good, from here we switch. We're gonna move our knees from side to side and the arms flare out to the other side. So this is nice and fun. I want you to have fun with it. We pick up the pace. We go one, two, three, four, and five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, and five, six. Other way, keep going. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome. So good. Moving on. We crunch and lift, crunch and lift, crunch and lift. So from the side, the knee is drawing towards the elbow, using the abdominals, all of the abdominals to lift and reach, crunching as hard as we can, switching sides, we reach and lift, and pull, and pull, and pull. Good, four, three, two, and one. Well done. All right, from here, we're gonna move on into taking a deep, deep breath. We're gonna move down now uh, to the floor. We're gonna move into some Pilates work now. So coming down, finding your spot on the ground. Um, if you are on hard tiles, please grab a Pilates mat or a fitness mat, lay it down, and we're gonna start by lying supine onto our backs. Knees and heels are touching, they're clenching together nice and strong. Roll the shoulder blades down and back, have that light double chin position as we lower one knee out to the side. From here, we draw a breath in. We exhale and we use the leg to draw the knee back up towards the center. We inhale over to one side. We exhale, use the core to draw that knee back in towards the center. So continue going from side to side for me, noticing that my supporting knee isn't moving at all. So it stays stationary throughout the whole exercise, just focusing on the lowering of one knee at a time out and using the core to draw the knee back in. Our hip bones should not be rocking. Our spinal, spinal position is neutral, so it's those natural curves of your spine as we begin our abdominal warm up for the series ahead. Awesome, well done. Keeping those hands clasped, so we lift one knee up to tabletop and lower back down. We lift the other leg up to tabletop, finding that 90 degree bend from the hip to the knee to the ankle and switching other side, lifting that knee up, holding, 90 degree bend at the knee. Good, you should feel the abdominals brace stronger, drawing down towards your spine each time that you lift one foot off of the mat, off of the floor at a time. From here, we get to transition now into tabletop position, bringing both those feet to that 90 degree bend. Make sure your core is drawing down towards your spine, that feeling of an imprinted spine, meaning that oh, we don't, we're not extending into our back, but make sure you're closing that ribcage down throughout this whole series, drawing the abdominals down. We go for a toe tap, tapping one foot down towards the floor at a time, maintaining that beautiful double chin position. Nice and neutral neck, nice imprinted spine. Now the closer you tap those heels towards your glutes, the more support you're gonna have through the back and the abdominals. Now the further away you tap, the harder the core has to work to keep that rib cage closed so that your back is not compromised. Please choosing your level today. You may not even tap all the way down to the floor and that's okay. What we're trying to do is just make sure that your back is not compromised. The core is bracing, the transverse abdominus is bracing and we're tapping one foot down at a time. From here, we can choose to keep our head down. We're gonna move into an exercise called bicycle. Extending one leg away, maintaining the other leg at that 90, 90 degree bend, and extending and alternating legs. Head remains down, holding that nice light double chin position. And the same thing again, the lower that you take that heel away from the trunk of the body, the more the abdominals have to brace to support the core. 
You could then choose to lift the head up if you'd like, lifting up, eyes maintain on the knees. Trying to lift those scapulas just off of the floor. Extending out and drawing in. Make sure that eye line doesn't change. We're not looking up towards the ceiling. Our eyes are on our knees and our core should be on nice and tight. Well done, resting the head back down. From here, taking a big breath in. Exhaling, choosing whether you'd like to keep the head up or down. We extend one leg up, the other leg away from the body. We switch for two breaths and breathe. We switch for two and we switch for two. So we're switching, drawing the abdominals down, the hand position. Now you can choose to do this with a bent knee as well. It doesn't matter, both is working the core. One is just a slightly more advanced option. The hand position is nice and light on the knee. You're not tugging the knee or yanking the knee or using the hands to draw the core up towards the ceiling. You're using the abdominals to pull and the hands is just nice and light. Rolling all the way up now. We're gonna move into a four point kneel position. So four point kneels means we're coming up onto our knees first. Then from here, we're gonna find our hands onto the mat, finding that four point kneel between the hands and the knees. We're beginning with a cat and cow sequence now. Starting with that chin drawing um, eye line down towards the floor. Make sure those elbows aren't locking, but they're nice and soft and bent. We start by drawing the core in as we start to round through the spine, tucking the chin in towards the chest. Sending the weight slightly back as we chuck our chin all the way into our chest. Taking a big breath in, core is nice and tight. Rounding as deeply as you can into that spine, we're gonna transition now into our extension. Lengthening through the crown of the head, roll those shoulder blades down and back, getting a nice deep arch. Okay, find that neutral now. Now that we know the two extreme ranges of motion, let's set up that nice neutral position, keeping the core drawing up nice and tight, the rib cage is closed. Pelvic floor is tight as we extend one leg and arm away. So it's the opposite arm away. It's not about how high the leg can go. What we're trying to do is make sure we're in nice and neutral. We extend one leg out to the side. We exhale as we draw the leg all the way in. Inhale, both go away from the trunk of the body. Exhale, challenging the balance as we go out and as we draw all the way back in. Extending all the way out as wide as you can go. Make sure that elbow remains nice and soft, drawing up with the core and returning back to the center. Again, set that reset, that pelvic floor, keep that rib cage closed, other side. We extend, find that neutral, inhale out to the side. Exhale, draw that arm, finding that midpoint, that center line. Pointing through the toe, extending through the fingers, keeping the crown of the head long and the neck nice and neutral. This tests everything and tests your balance. That's where our core is at. Make sure our breath is connected to our movement this evening. Good, well done everybody. And drawing it all the way back in. Tucking those toes now. Lifting the knees off, we're gonna find a downward dog for a stretch. Sending that tailbone towards the ceiling, head between the shoulders, sinking through the Achilles and stretching those heels. Bending the knees now, we're gonna come in to find the center. So facing the center for me. Coming up to a two point kneel. From here, we're going to extend um, and move into some glute work. So we want that hand to be out towards the side, extending that leg in line with our knee and our arm and our hand. Our elbow is soft. Make sure our upper body remains active, rolling that top shoulder blade back and down and rib cages closed, pelvis is pulling forward. Drawing the abdominals and the pelvic floor are nice and tight. We exhale as we extend and we inhale as we lower. Exhale as we extend, inhale as we lower. So we're using the sides of the glutes to lift the leg and to lower. As we lift and to lower. Good, we're breathing in and out. Exhaling as we lift. Your glutes should be working to lift the leg, the sides of the waist should be working and all of the upper body to support you. Particularly the glute medius where we turn out from the hip joint. Knee is pressing forward, roll that shoulder blade down and back. All right, from here we're gonna hold up there nice and high. From here we point the toe, we sweep forward and we exhale, sweep back. We sweep forward and we sweep back. Make sure that you're not arching and extending and rocking through the upper body, okay? The body stays nice and still. The only thing moving should be that top leg sweeping back 
and forward at hip height and coming all the way back up. Your glutes should be feeling it both sides. Other side, well done. Extending yourself back out, set that foot, roll that shoulder blade down and back, keeping that rib cage nice and closed. Again, we extend up towards the ceiling and we lower and we lift and we lower. So we're using the sides of the glutes to lift and to lower all the way back down. Well done everybody, focusing on that deep hip rotator, the glute medius on the outside, lifting and lowering, pointing through the toe, not overly squeezing the quadriceps. Well done, we hold up there, we sweep forward again. Gotta work both sides, keep that foot high, even as you start to fatigue, that elbow needs to be soft to protect our joints, not hanging off of our joints, but all of our muscles are nice and engaged here. The glute is on fire and we're not squeezing the quadricep or the front of the leg too much. Good, give your legs a little hit if you need to. Coming all the way up, we're gonna move into some ballet work now. All right, so moving into ballet now, we're gonna need to find a chair. Um, dining chair will be perfectly fine. So go ahead and grab that now, bringing it up and setting it onto your right hand side. So setting that down there, making sure that it's ideally at the height of your hips, your hip bones, or just below. We're going to take a deep breath in. We're going to find a turnout position. So to do that, we just turn our feet or our heels into a tiny little V. It's not about how flat that V is. Just make sure that you're turning out from your hip bones. From here, we take a demi plio. So our feet and heels are staying flat. Our shoulder blades are down and back and we're bending and extending. So demi plie means to bend and extend and it's little. So demi means little, bending out, drawing in. From here we take a rise. The kneecaps remain engaged and straight throughout. The abdominals are pulling up and in and the rib cage is closed. Shoulder blades are down and back. That feeling of almost falling forward. We don't wanna be having that feeling of falling, falling backwards. Keeping those kneecaps nice and locked. We're gonna hold up there, squeeze those heels together now. And we're gonna aim for a pulse. So we keep our heels squeezing as hard as we can. Our arm is nice and strong and our supporting arm on that bar is nice and light. We're going to bend and extend. So we pulse, two, three, and from there we extend up and we pulse, two, three, strong arms and extend. Good, core drawing in, rib cage closed three and extend good pulse two three we extend up and we're going to hold see if we can find a balance extend lifting that leg off of the ballet bar and holding up there shoulder blades are down and back good we're going to move into second position so taking those legs wider than hip distance apart take those toes out towards the side reset that hand and we've got that whole thing again so we demi plie we're doing this whole sequence on both sides today to make sure that the workout is nice and even across the whole component of your body. Our arms going out, drawing in as we extend up. So we bend in demi plie and we pull up. We bend in demi plie and pull in good. From here we got that rise and lower. So you're not gonna get too far, but what we're aiming for is a nice calf burn. So working through all of your feet, Every single muscle that you can find in those feet, lifting up and down, keeping our kneecaps nice and locked. We move into that plie and pulse. Good, imagining that your arm is nice and strong, as strong as you can get it. And like you're in a plane of glass, so we don't want our glutes sticking out and poking out, but almost that feeling of tipping that cup of water forward as if you're in a plane of glass and you can't tap each side. We're bending two, three, and extending. And we're bending two, three, we pulse and lift. Good, we bend two, three, and extend. Well done, and lower down. Check those legs out just for a moment. Find that first position one more time, setting the arm out into a ballet second position. Drawing that, tucking that pubic bone just slightly under. We're going to do a little kick. So we call it développé. Only nice and low, that arm reaches to the front and we go derriere or back behind us. Good, so it's only little, 45 degree angle. From here we move into a grand battement at a 90 degree angle. So we're pointing, make sure that toe touches the floor and you sweep through. 
it's a little bit tough in fitness shoes. Give it your best go. Good, well done. Take a stretch over your temporary ballet bar. Well done. And then reach into the other side. Make sure both the sides of the waist roll that top shoulder back and down. It's a nice stretch. Round into the centre now. Walk those feet down, taking a sink all the way through. Good. Feet are together. Sinking all the way through, taking a big deep breath out, rolling up, release the hands, rolling up one vertebrae at a time, all the way to the top. Well done. We've got the other side now. So taking that, that chair all the way to the other side, setting it up, resetting yourselves, have a sip of water if you need to, finding that first position. We demi plie. We demi plie and extend. We demi plie and extend. Well done, good. So same thing on the other side, but making sure we're getting those kicks on both legs. Making sure we're nice and even. We demi and stretch. So we're using those inner thighs all the way. Each time you stretch up, zipping all the way up nice and tight. Good. We take the arms out to ballet second as we rise and lower. We rise and lower. Rise and lower. Good. Keeping it nice and smooth. Arm is nice and tight. Good, core is drawing in, pelvic floor is on and rib cage is closed. Smiling through the burn, through those calves. Good, squeeze those heels together now as hard as we can. Finding a demi plie, a light demi plie pulse. We've got that pulse and extend. So when you're ready, we pulse and extend, lift. Pulse one, two, three and lift. One, two, three and lift. Well done, one, two, three, we lift, good, a few more, well done, keep pulling it nice and tight, find a balance there, squeeze those heels together, squeeze your glutes, roll your shoulder blades down and back, release the legs, good, find that second position, so just wider than hips and turning the feet out, well done, all right, we move straight into that demi plie once again, good, so the legs are getting a really good workout this evening, I hope you've had a wonderful day. Good, well done everybody. Smiling through that burn. The glutes are on. Zipping those inner thighs up. We've got a rise and a lower. We rise and we lower. Using that hand on the bar nice and lightly. It's just there for some stability, a little bit of support. We shouldn't be pressing down too hard and the calves should be burning. Well done. Awesome, keep going for me. We've got that rise from here. We're gonna hold up there. We take that plie and pulse. We pulse, pulse, pulse. We add the extension coming up. So we pulse, one, extend, and down. Two, three, extend up. Squeeze the knees, down. Two, three, use those inner thighs as you extend. Two, three, four, and lift. Good, doing so well. Well done, everybody. Keep going for me, two, one, and extend and hold. See if you can find that releve, that balance on, in that second position, and walk the legs all the way back in. Finding that first position, we have our kicks or our devlapes now. So devlapeing to 45 degree angle. So we're trying to slide and sweep that leg along the floor, keeping it nice and smooth. Good, reaching that arm to the front as we go to the back. Good, so your supporting leg, that leg that's next to the chair, should be staying nice and still. We've got that 90 degree at the front, 90 degrees to the side. Good, so that supporting knee doesn't move, it doesn't bend. Try our very best to keep it nice and still and back to second one more time before we stretch. Well done, good. Take a stretch over that temporary belly bar, release the bottom arm and other side. Good, looking down over that shoulder. Good, moving into that chest stretch now. Feet are in parallel position. Sending that chest through between your arms, sinking and sending that tailbone up towards the ceiling. We've got that pelvic rotation all the way up, rolling, peeling one vertebra at a time. Release the hands as you roll the body all the way up. Awesome, well done. So from here, we're gonna pop that chair away now. Off to the side, you won't be needing that again. Alrighty, we're moving on. We've got a cardio component now, okay? So we're gonna step to one side 
and draw the knee in. So it's like a, a slide or a skate and a hop, skate and a hop. So we're hopping, drawing the outside knee in each time we pick up the pace and lift and lift and lift. We're lifting, skating up, up, up. Good. So we're gonna get the heart rate up now for a cardio number. Taking deep breaths as we go. Good, we're gonna transition into a skater next. So as you can see, we go behind. We step and behind, step and behind. Good. You might just be keeping it nice and low impact, that's fine. If not, really reaching out with me, using those hands to help you really reach. The heart rate should be burning, the glutes and the legs should be on fire. Really reach, use those arms to help you. Well done, good. From here we move into a grapevine. So the step goes out in, out in. We go side, behind, side, together. Out, in, out, and in. Again, side, back, side, together. Out, in, out, in. Side, back, side, together. Out, in, out, in. Good. Out, in, out, in. Good. Now we add the arms. One, two, three, four. Out, in, wave it out. One, two, three, four. Wave it out, wave it out. One, two, three. Wave it and wave it. And wave it and wave it. One, two, three. And wave it and wave it. Good. Heart rate's coming up. Well done. We go side to side. We've got isolations next. So we pop forward, pop. So the chest is going forward and back and forward and back, good. Forward and back, forward and back, good. So isolating the chest, which is what we do in dance. So forward, we go side, we go back. Side, forward, side, and back. Circling, two, three, and four. Other way, and one, two, three, and four. From here we pop, 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 and one, two, three, four. We Pump, punch up, two, three, and we jumping forward, back. One, two, three, four, forward, back, forward, back. One, two, three, four, forward, back, forward, back. Good, from here, we're gonna take a deep breath in. You did amazing, your heart rate should be up nice and high. From here, we're gonna move in to um, our next number. We've got a little dance combo coming up. Um, so I'm gonna teach that to you now. Um, so please get ready, have a sip of water. So for our dance combo this evening, it's nice and light. Um, what we're gonna be doing is a little bit of a jazz number and each week we'll get to add on to that combination. Um, it's a whole lot of fun, so come and join with me um, and we will learn a little number. So hands go into your waist, not on your hips to begin with. So waist is where the base of that rib cage is. Roll the shoulder blades down and back, popping the toe. That one knee is bent. We lift the hips and lower for three, four, five, Six, seven, eight. Good, so that's the first move. Okay, so let's go over that again. So hands are on the rib cage, rib cage closed, popping the toe, right up on the toe. Hands are at the ribs, roll the shoulders. We pop and lower the hips down and up. Down, up, seven, eight. From here, we add a click, 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 and click. Good. So we're going to do that again from the top. So we pulse. After eight, we click for one. Legs are bent. We click one, two, three, four. From here, we're going to go out to the side. We step with our hips and our hips swing out with the same leg, but our upper body is lifting and pulling forward to the side. We go a little circle and in together. Our head wants to turn the same direction as the same knee that pulls in and across the body. So again, we've clicked four. We step to the side, two, little circle around three, pull it in four. Awesome, we go back, same move to the other side. The upper body is forward, round around three, pull in four. Awesome, well done, let's go from the top. So again, popping that foot, hands at the rib cage, shoulder blades are down and back. Awesome, we bop, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We go one, two, click three, four. We've got four, three, two, one. We sweep to the side, two, round and in, one, 
two, three, and in. Good. Awesome. From here, we're going to move on to the next move. So we reach forward and we pull in. So we step out, same arm as leg, reaches out and pulls in. We reach out and pull in. From here, we reach up, keeping the other arm up at the same time. So let's do that again. So there's four of those. So we reach out, pull in, keep the arms up where they are. It's the same arm as leg. Pulls in, we're step tapping side to side. So it's a step tap, step tap, step tap. We do that two times through and then we're going to move on. So, so please join in with me at home. Um, this class is just meant to be fun. So please relax, please enjoy yourself, have a lot of fun, dance with your family um, and we will add on to it next week. So let's go again from the top. We go pop, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We click for eight, seven, six, knees are bent. Three, two, one, we go to the side. We go one, two, around and together. One, two, around and together. We reach and pull, reach, pull, pull, arms stay up and up again. Step tapping, step tap, step tap, step tap from here. Adding on, we're gonna release the hands, the fingers are flexed. We're kicking our glutes on the spot. If you've got room, you can run backwards. We jump all the way to three, we land four. We do a head nod on five, wait six. So don't move on six and then we go seven, eight. And it's the opposite um, hip to shoulder. So again, we've reached two, three, pull four. We run, hands, fingers flex, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, jump four, head, head five, wait, six, seven, eight. So you can get a little bit sassy, that's the entire combo for this week and we're going to go through it two times through and then finish with a warm down. All right, with the music, here we go. Two, three, four. Eight, we go. And four. Reach, pull, reach, pull. Reach, pull again. Run. One, two, three, land four, head five, six, seven, eight. Awesome, well done. Let's do that one more time and then we're gonna add on next week. Alrighty, let's go, set yourselves up, we go. amazing we're gonna move into a cool down now so we start by rolling the shoulder blades down sinking the head in tucking that chin in towards your chest stacking your spine all the way back up we release tucking all the way in heads the last thing to come up and we go one more time all the way down all the way up we hold down here spreading the toes grounding through the toes Hands can be on the knees, so you can find them onto the ground in front of you. We take a deep bend as low as we can go, extend those hips up towards the ceiling. We bend, lift the face forward, and eyes down to the, down to the ground. We bend, head comes up, and head goes down. From here, you can take a bend, moving on into the next one after this extension. We can take a bend in the knees, or have straight knees aiming for one hand to be on to the ground. From here, we're gonna draw that hand up the center line and extend as we rotate all the way around, fingertips towards the ceiling, rotate through the shoulders, make sure that your core is tight to protect your spine as it has that nice light spinal rotation. Replacing that hand, the other hand draws up the midline, extending all the way up towards the ceiling, lengthening out through the fingers, core is tight once more, drawing the hands back down, 
rolling all the way back up, rolling the shoulders. Good, we're gonna move into a lunge now. So finding a deep, strong lunge. Good, we're nice and supported through our core and our hips are pulling down towards the floor. Drawing that chin into a nice neutral position. Resting the knee down, hand comes down and under tucking the foot. We extend one up, so the same arm as back leg extends up towards the ceiling. Sinking the pelvis as we take an extension, keeping the core on to protect the spine. Shoulder remains into its socket. We're taking a big, deep breath. We find both of our hands tucking the toe, lifting the knee back into that active lunge. We take a hamstring extension and find that lunge. Eyes are going forward towards the side of the room. So we go head down, eyes down, hamstring stretch, active lunge, head up, eyes up. Good, one more time. We're gonna, from here, find that back leg, tuck it under and behind us as we rotate and swivel around. Now I need to have both of your sit bones firm onto the floor. The opposite arm to that knee is gonna wrap around, pulling that knee in towards your chest. What I want is that your shoulder blade to be down and back and you to press that knee into your forearm, pressing away to get a nice stretch into the pelvis, the hips and the glutes. Well done everybody, you're doing an amazing, amazing job this evening. I hope you're having a good time. You should be sweating and working as hard as I've been. Good, coming all the way back up, we're gonna find that lunge on the other side. So lunging all the way down, roll the shoulder blades down and back. That hip sinks down nice and low, roll the shoulder blade into its socket. Core is on to protect the spine. From here, resting the knee back down, under tucking that toe, same arm as, as back leg. Extends all the way up to the ceiling, roll the shoulder blade down and back and take that light extension, making sure that the core is on nice and tight to protect the lumbar spine. Hands find themselves under each side of the foot. And from there, we extend up into a hamstring stretch. So we're stretching the back of the leg. We find that lunge, eyes up towards the side. So the head goes down, hamstring stretch. Eyes are lifted, active lunge. Good, well done. And again, head goes down, stretching through the hamstring, stretching through the hip flexors, eyes up. From here, that back leg tucks underneath and behind the front leg. We swivel around towards the front. Sit bones, both are on the mat. And again, that opposite arm is pulling that knee in towards your chest, pulling up tall and taller out of your spine. Make sure that your shoulder blades are down and back and you're pressing that knee away from your forearm as you pull the arm in. Doing amazing, well done from here. That top knee comes out to the side. We're finishing with a mermaid stretch this evening. One arm comes up, we're pulling up and over, taking a nice stretch for the sides of the body sides of the body, those obliques, sides of the waist there, and make sure we're nice and even, other side, bending that knee, that's with that hand on the floor, eyes look up towards the elbow, well done, replace that hand back on the floor, switching sides, wonderful, same arm as bent leg at the front, reaches up and over, Good. take a big breath in. Exhale as you find the other side. One more time, lifting up and out of the rib cage. Eye line is on the elbow. Well done. Amazing job, everybody. Thank you so much for coming. I hope to see you next week. I hope you had a wonderful time. Bye.